marijuana today isn't just stronger. It's way stronger than it was just a few decades ago. This isn't your father's weed, or even your older brother's. And that's changing how some people feel about cannabis, and raising some serious questions about its safety. Back in the 90s, typical weed had around 4-5% to THC, the chemical that gets you high. Fast forward to now, and most legal flour packs 20-30% to THC, with some concentrates hitting up to 90%. That's a huge jump. With that much strength, the effects are a lot more intense, and not always in a good way. New users, or even regular smokers, can end up feeling anxious, paranoid, or worse, like having full-on psychotic episodes. Hospitals are seeing an increase in patients due to the popularity of these super strong products. A big reason why weed keeps getting stronger is the market. As more states legalize it, companies focus on making the strongest stuff because heavy users want it, and they're the ones buying the most. But the rules haven't really kept up. Most places don't limit how much THC is allowed, and labels can be confusing and unclear, so people don't always know what they're getting or how much is safe to actually use. Experts say the next step is simply smarter regulation. Capping THC levels, taxing stronger products more, making labels clearer, and supporting smaller growers who make milder strains. Starting to legalize weed was a huge step forward, but the story isn't over. Just because it's evidently a lot less dangerous than alcohol doesn't mean we should make it so strong that it causes you to have a nervous breakdown just because you took one too many hits on the pen. It's about finding the right balance between access and health, making sure weed isn't just legal, but safe to use.